Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to update Bodicera from within your Bodicera build. So you don't have to download anything externally. It's a really simple process. First, you need to just make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi on your Bodicera build. So let's dive into it. I'll show you the exact process. All right, so here we are booted up into Bodicera currently. So all we're going to do here is we're going to open up our main menu. So if you're using a keyboard, hit your space bar. If you're using a gamepad controller, go ahead and hit your start button. That opens up our main menu. We are going to first make sure that we're connected to Wi-Fi, which I already have established my Wi-Fi connection. If you haven't, then drop down to the description of this video or jump to the uh, link across the top of your screen. And I'll link you directly over to a video that shows you guys how to set up Wi-Fi on Botticera. But assuming you've already done that, you could check that over here in network settings. You're going to drop down to updates and downloads. We're going to select that option. And down here under software updates, you're going to see, first off, whether you have enabled your system to check for updates. But we're going to go down here to update type. And we can choose either a stable version or we can go over left or right to beta. So I recommend going with the stable version just because with beta, you never know what you're getting into. You may run into a perfectly... Uh, stable version, but is still just, you know, being tested out. Or you may run into issues where you update your system and there's a lot of funky sort of issues going on. So I always recommend going with the stable version. Once you've selected stable here, unless of course you want to go into beta, do that at your own risk though, you're going to drop down to start update. You're just going to simply select start update. It's going to say working and it's going to show you guys what the current version is. So it says right here, you are currently using version 31 and it gives me the date there. Do you want to update to version 35? And it gives me the release date of that. So we're gonna go ahead and select yes. And it's going to start updating. You can see in the top right corner, it's giving us our progress. So it says updating Botticera, downloading. Now this is going to be a fairly long process. I find that it takes typically about 25 to 35 minutes depending on your internet speed, of course. So let it do its thing. We're going to track this and I'll speed up the video here so you don't have to wait the long period of time with me. We'll jump back in here once it's complete. All right, so you can see this has just completed. You can see in the top right corner, it says update is ready, reboot system to apply. So all we're going to do now is we are gonna back out of the current page here and we're gonna drop down to quit. We'll select quit and we're just going to select restart system. All right, so we fully rebooted here. You can see all of our collections are still in place. Same theme and everything, but our updated version is now ready to go. So that is the entire process here. All right, so as you can see, pretty straightforward and simple process here for updating Bodicera. And it's really convenient that we can do so within our Bodicera build through Wi-Fi. So if you have any questions, anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Always happy to help any way I possibly can. If you enjoyed this video and you found the information helpful, smash the thumbs up button on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.